Hello, and welcome to Mockit Tutorial. In this video, we're going to explore the user interface of Mockit and have a quick overview of the core function in Mockit prototyping. After signing in, we'll directly enter into our dashboard, where all of our projects are saved here. On the left panel, we have choices of creating a new project and finding templates. On the bottom left, you can switch into personal space and enterprise space. Enterprise space is for team collaboration and management. So let's quickly create a project. By simply clicking on the create button, we can create a prototype. Right here, we can choose different devices or create our custom canvas. Mockit also provides many templates of different themes and industries where you can use them to create your prototype. Click on the template, we can directly enter into the editing area. So we're right in the editing area. Let's begin with the top bar. On the left side, you'll see some popular tools such as text element, rectangle, oval shape, straight line, link area to create interactions and image. On the right side, here you can add new members for your project, as well as set up permission for your team members. As for version history, it's a function which supports version recording and backtracking. The next icon gives you the export option. You can export your design to PNG, PDF, HTML, and Android APK. Next here, you can preview your prototype, as well as hand a feature for developers and adding comments on the project. You can share your project to your stakeholders and collaborators by simply copying the link. Any changes of the project will be automatically updated with the same link. Also, there are options to share via social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Dribbble. There are choices on the right side for you to change the preview look of your project. You can choose to share all the screens or the selected ones. Then let's move to the left side of the editing area. You can see the screen panel. Your design or mock it are built here. You can add a new screen by simply clicking on the plus side at the top corner. Manage and organize your screens. Drag and drop to reorder the screens. Right under the session, the layer panel will show you all the layers on your specific screen. Also, there's a search functionality within your layers, allowing you to search and filter. You can easily lock the position of your layers and toggle visibility of your layers by hovering and clicking on the hide and show icon. Besides, you can adjust the order of your layers by simply drag and drop. As you can see, layers can be very useful for your design. Now let's move on to the right side of the editing area. Here is a functional bar where you can build your design. The first feature is state, which is used to create smooth interactions. Head over to the built-in session. You can find many components that you can use in your project. We also have video and audio components. Additionally, Mockit provides the most popular UI elements for both iOS and Android operating systems. So you don't need to create everything from scratch. You can double click to use them or simply drag and drop. You can also save any components to my assets, so you can easily find them. Also, you can find the icons you have saved here. If you're working with your team, you can check out your team library here. The last one is master, where you can batch modify your components. We'll specifically explain this feature in the next course. Now let's focus on the properties panel, which shows the specification of the canvas and elements. Choosing the canvas, you can change the canvas size, background color, and the fixed slider. If you select the element in the canvas, you can change it to style including size, opacity, and the appearance. Adjust the radius of the corners, or set individual corner. You can also choose the color stroke and add the shadow. Here's a filter option for image. You can adjust the blur, brightness, contrast, and other filters to your image. You can add the animation and set the delay and duration. Next to the style, there's an event feature where you can create the interaction. There are several transitions here. You can choose one as you like. To conclude what we just went over, the editing area is a heart of market where you can design prototype and collaborate with others. The left panel allows you to manage the screens and layers. The functional bar on the right side equips you the widgets you need to build your design. The top bar gives you a few options to easily start your design. Lastly, the property panel is where you can change the styling and add interactions. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next market tutorial.